The views expressed in the following program do not necessarily represent the views of this station or its management. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Well, good evening. Welcome back, Wichita, to the newest edition of Real People, Real Life. Tonight, we're going to be talking about Agenda 21. We've got our guest, Carl Peter John, to be with us in just a moment from the Sedgwick County Commission. But right now, we'd like to introduce Joe Boucher. And Joe, tell us a little bit about yourself and where oh, you're I'm at. Oh, I'm a former week. Marine, former private investigator. Now I run a pool hall called Sticks at 2785 South Meridian, where we uh, do our best to promote the pool industry. Uh, I can be summed up in a nutshell as I despise Obama. Uh, with that said, <laughs> we need boy. to get out and vote today. And uh, make make sure you get out and vote. Uh, those that uh, are are registered Republican need to get out there and support our candidates. Um, I'm not necessarily Republican myself. I would say I'm extreme libertarian. I think Rush Limbaugh is a closet liberal. There you go. Uh, <laughs> you so, heard it here first. <laughs> but uh, in case I didn't mention it, I despise Obama. And you need to get out and vote. So. One more, yeah. <laughs> now listen, it's. Just started a little bit after 6 o'clock. You've got till 7 p.m., so whatever you're doing, if you haven't voted, put us on pause, run out, and vote, and vote. Now, and by the way, any of you unaffiliated voters, you can vote for Republicans or Democrats. Simply declare right there at the voting place. So we're going to go on. Well, what uh, did, what was the feedback on last week's show on Common Core? I uh, got a lot of questions. We got a lot of questions, a lot of sparked interest. Uh, we, I think we ruffled some feathers, so I think to that, speak. I think that could be said. Mm -hmm. I, I learned a lot myself. I mean, um, I found myself quoting some of these teachers that were our guests last week uh, to my friends to see how many others, you know, were uneducated on Common Core, you know, so, and I was kind of upset to find out that there's quite a few of us out there. Well, you're, we're going to find out a lot more about it this school year because my understanding is that 2013 or this year is the first year it's going to be rolled out oh, uh, no, everywhere. So we're going to see a lot no more bueno. of it. A lot more parents are going to be scratching their heads going, what did Junior bring home? What is this? <laughs> and so I think this is a, my experience was I had a lot of feedback. A lot of people hits, a lot of people ask me questions and frankly, a lot of people want to learn more. So maybe yeah, and I can, always encourage them, you know, to... Yeah. The Click on the links. How do you how do you get them to treat the cause and not the symptom? Common Core is a symptom. It's not mm -hmm. a, it's not a cause. The Department of Education is the cause. When that came down in '79, the school system's gone downhill from there. Yes, uh, I hear a lot of people railing about symptoms, never the cause. So. I think the cause is important. One of the things we're going to get in tonight when we study Agenda 21 is that there is a linkage between Agenda 21 and Common Control. Common uh, court, yeah. and it goes back, I think, to the control aspect of Agenda 21, and they want to control every aspect of our lives. Is that really what we want here in America? I no. don't think so. No, nope. I have to admit, though, I'm I'm uneducated about Agenda 21 today. Mm -hmm. I know it was something very different back in the 80s, but what it means today, I'm really kind of clueless and am anxious to find out. Well, we're going to be, we've got today. a local expert here with Carl Peter John. He's studied the issue, and he certainly knows quite a bit about it, especially how it applies here to Sedgwick County. And that's what our focus on uh, real people, real life, is always going to be about how the news impacts us here in Wichita and surrounding areas. Agreed? Right, I agree. Absolutely, absolutely. That's the reason we're here. That's why we are here. We are here to, you know, if... If, for lack of a better word, ruffle feathers. Uh, if it makes you mad, get mad. Yeah, Blast me on Facebook. Let's yeah. get the discussion <laughs> rolling open and civil. By the way, yeah. our page, Real People, Real Life, is up and operating That's on right. Facebook. We invite you to come by, check us out, like us, and tell your, your neighbors and friends about us, too. Absolutely. And give us, give us ideas for topics you would like for us to discuss, because it's not for us. It's for you. So We, and and we want to learn. Orange tone lead paint. <laughs> lead paint. <laughs> lead paint, absolutely. 
Thank you. part of your agenda, Tony. <laughs> I hear if you put sea salt and cracked black pepper on them, not so bad. And somebody's talking so about aluminum hats. Yeah, our our 6000 dollar porch has turned into a $26,000 project because uh, the city Ouch. of lead paint. So what's the rent going to be now, about 1200 a month? Well, that's the problem. You, know? I mean, you, can't, uh, you can't support the neighborhood with higher rents. We're talking about studio apartments and a 110-year-old fourplex. Uh, so the, the city's... Uh, agenda is evidently they would not want anything repaired and they want a lot of empty vacant buildings they want to turn wichita into detroit because if you're going to go repair something they want you to spend forty thousand dollar to fix a thirty thousand dollar property in a twenty thousand dollar neighborhood so i want to ask you a question how come you weren't here last week i was in vegas making a genuine uh, dork of myself <laughs> lost wages huh? yeah no uh, we're out it, it's not a vacation for me when you play pool all year long and you go to vegas to play in a pool tournament it's just a continuation of work it's like turning a wrench uh, <laughs> poor <laughs> thing we were out there from so bca nationals uh they they had forced our team to play in the masters we we finished in the money in the masters but not very deep have i but there you in go the there you go He's Somebody's buying money. some draft billy for us today. Yeah, I understand that you're going to be bringing, <laughs> bringing a pool tournament to sticks. Soon. We are attempting to. Now, okay. now, right now, participation is running a little weak. Uh, this was supposed to be a $1,000 entry. First place was going to oh, pay yes. sixteen grand. Yeah. It was designed to bring in all the pros. Uh, right now, however, we've got a lot of the pros that are stranded in China because they can't get airfare to get back. So oh, my goodness. Well, we don't know if the deadline's going <laughs> Everything well, is well, that's affordable in China, but airfare? in Africa right now. I don't know. Well, it depends. Uh, in Africa, they would let me shoot people, and they wouldn't put me in jail for it. But, uh, <laughs> oh, wow. that, uh, if Africa was only promoted as such, you know, the pool would be just like, <laughs> can I? Well, I, we're I still have to we're probably offended to somebody somewhere now. Yeah. Well, now we're pushing buttons, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've got an issue with something in the news. You know, yeah. Ebola has never, ever, ever been seen in the United States. Two cases, uh, right? Now, now, but they were brought Probably. from Africa. The right. same two doctor two group, here. right? The same. Well, one the same of them is a native of, of Wichita. Yes, she is a native of Wichita. I thought Ebola was the time. That's it a is Bolo. A, oh, yeah. Yeah. now yeah. I understand. Also used as a weapon if you <laughs> chokes you out the same. You swing it right. Exactly. Oh, you can choke. Well, now we're making light, but this is a very serious problem. Isn't no, it? I'm not trying to make light of it. Well, I mean, absolutely it's, it's, not. It's, it's very serious. If 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 you don't like something in your house, don't let anybody bring it in. You know, if it's never been in your home before and you're afraid of it, what are you doing? I mean, well, well I think it's a, a, a legitimate question. Hmm? You, you're talking about somebody making a choice. Well, sure. Why well, would you ever allow somebody to make choices? Oh. Have you, have, what country do you live I've, in? As, as Foster was saying, Where do you I think you are, my sir? foil hat. <laughs> you know, my foil hat. Cold at this we've, we've really heard a lot about the two cases of people they brought into Atlanta under quarantine conditions. Now, why would you do that? Well, they know that they had Ebola. They know they were dangerous and exposed. However, I think the genie's out of the bag. Or, so are they U.S. citizens? That's absolutely. My, that's my first absolutely. They, they are U.S. citizens. citizens. Our Constitution says we provide for the common defense. Provide for the common defense does not mean just against other nations. It also means against a common disease. Thank if you. Obala, yes. If Ebola is out there. It, it stands to reason if we have U.S. citizens that have contracted a disease, we bring them home, we find a cure because eventually it's coming to our shores one way or the other. Well, I, Agreed, uh, but I mean, can't point. we keep them there, since find a cure here, send a cure not, there? That's not what the yeah. U.S. does. We don't leave our citizens can behind we, if we yeah. can, can we avoid it and if you have crossed Obama. Since the, Obama kills our incident in the, so. <laughs> since the incident happened in London yesterday, <laughs> with a person getting off the plane and just dying in front of everybody from Ebola. I heard something about well, that. Well, I, I think that's it. It is going to spread worldwide. Well, that's not right going to freak not. anybody. It's, out. It doesn't <laughs> spread the way people think, though. This has been yeah. painted into a boogeyman by Hollywood. How does it spread? The reality is, Ebola is primarily spread through the water and physical contact. That doesn't find me. I'm not comfortable. It, uh, with that. The reality of Ebola is, I could have it. You sitting next to me, you are not at risk of contracting it just because we're in the same proximity. What if you were to vomit? Well, how, how so then you've got a problem. Then I've got a problem. Uh, that's what happened in London at yeah. the airport. If they I'm not vomit sure if Ebola on you, would be the problem to get in the park. Particles off. Yes, yeah. the particles get it's, in the air. They're very fine. It's they a dangerous like, disease. It's a terrible disease, but it's not the boogeyman that they're making it out to be. If it was, 
Africa would have been wiped out years ago. We would not have a population there. So obviously it does not kill with this unforgiving wrath that we're paying. Oh, no, it's the Is this another one of those causes, Joe, that they're being ramped up a little bit? I I think so. I I, I think it's another control agenda. If they can scare everything. You think about every control agenda that you come up with. It's Uh all based on fear tactics. What are they pushing with Ebola right now? Oh, let's be afraid of the common cold. Influenza killed 22 million in, in the 20s. Uh huh. And still today, we don't believe evolution exists when we have to have a new flu vaccine every uh, year. Right. Uh, it's, it's scare uh, tactics. It's. Uh, you know, nine well, times out of ten, I don't know if to believe it or not because there's so much fake. You know, news yeah. out there right now, onion news, so to speak. I, you know? I, I argue <laughs> Remember that little flesh clo- colored spider that was supposedly uh-huh. brought in and hid under everybody's toilet and people were dropping dead left and right and that was all hoax? Right. Like, I took toilet lids and I never oh. would forever. And I think it was just a ploy by some guy to keep the lid up. I don't know. Hey, One of my pet peeves is I argue with people on the internet religiously. They post some fact that they got from some yeah, link, fact. And then somebody posts something that's contrary to it from some link. So I'm going to disprove your link from the internet with my link from the internet. And that makes me superior because my link's bigger than your link. Internet genius. Uh, do, you have, do you have link envy, sir? A little link envy. Yeah, oh, a little link envy. Okay. Well, listen, we're going to go. This is good. It's thrilling. <laughs> Much fun as this is. I see we have a commercial break coming up, so we're going to go ahead and take a short break, and then we'll be coming back with Carl Peter John from Central County Commission. Talk, tell us about Agenda 21. Thank you. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. At Trailer Town, we're all about selection, service, and safety. Trailer Town Selection. Hundreds to choose from, small to large, lightweight aluminum to heavy-duty steel. All types, new and used. Trailer Town Service, the best in the Midwest, from wiring to axle repair. Trailer Town Safety, yes, we do Department of Transportation Inspections. Trailer Town, trusted, family-owned, 301 West 53rd Street North. Knapp Weaponry is the home of Wichita's newest indoor temperature-controlled shooting range. Mention this ad for two-for-one pricing weekdays from noon to four. Knapp Weaponry is an NRA Business Alliance member that offers NRA and state-certified instruction classes, training, and women's unarmed self-defense classes. We buy and sell new and used guns and offer gunsmith services. Knapp Weaponry offers a free range session with the purchase of a new gun. We also offer transfer services and an array of ammo. Knapp Weaponry, the West Side's best kept secret. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and lowest prices store-wide, wants to remind you of very important savings days. Wine day, Tuesdays get 20% off. Beer day, Wednesdays get 10% off. Microbrews and imports. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. At Economy Motors, we know that everything costs more these days. Gas costs more, utilities cost more, groceries cost more. But what's one thing that will not cost you more? Buying your next vehicle with us. Everything we have is priced $12,995 or under. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. No crazy gimmicks and no bait and switch. We keep it real. Economy Motors, home of easy pay. We've got your back. Don't worry, please. Don't worry. Because at Economy Motors, we got your back. Saving you money big time and saying thank you, Kansas, for making Credit King Auto Sales the number one buy here, pay here dealer. Number one for sales, service selection, and customer satisfaction. Right now, our summer blowout sale is going on with, get this, two years of free gas only at Credit King Auto Sales at the King's Corner, 31st South and Broadway. Go creditking.com. Welcome back to Real People, Real Life. We have a Joe, Joe, and Fossa Don here today, and we've got our special guest, Carl Peter John from Sedgwick County Commission. Carl, tell us a little bit about yourself and then right into the subject. Well, I'm a Sedgwick County Commissioner, I have been since January of 2009, Don, and mm-hmm. uh, I've uh, been involved in a whole variety of issues, but I, we, we spoke most often about the whole sustainability 
Agenda 21 and, and federal grant issue. So I'd be happy to visit about that or any other county business that everybody else wants to talk about. Well, let's start with Agenda 21. And I know there's a big blow up here uh, in Central County back 2011, 2012. Maybe you could kind of fill us in. Well, the federal government's been offering grants, and there's uh, almost a zillion different, is that a real number? Uh, a Somewhere, zillion different yeah. uh, it is now. Uh, federal, well, federal yeah. grant programs <laughs> out there. But one of them has been uh, what's called uh, sustainability grants. Mm -hmm. They're through a combination of HUD, Housing and Urban Development, EPA, and Department of Transportation at the federal level. But they interact with other entities, mm -hmm. and there's a long history. We could talk about this at the local level in terms of the local involvement, yeah. the federal level, and the United Nations international yeah. level. Well, let's back up just a moment, Ed, and kind of bring the, our audience up to speed on Agenda 21. Um, now, contrary to belief, this did not start underneath Joe's big good buddy, Mr. Obama. However, it actually goes back, way back, to the 80s, doesn't it? Well, it goes back decades in yeah. terms of the international uh, discussions that led to Agenda 21 and the whole sustainability movement. And sustainability, I think, is an interesting word because I don't think it's something mm -hmm. we really shoot for. I mean, I, I think of that wonderful speech that uh, it's a movie, the Oscar-winning movie Patton, where yeah. he says, I don't want to hear anybody talking about holding our positions. Well, I view sustainability as kind of holding our position. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the state motto is to the stars through difficulties. And at Aspra, mm -hmm. um, I think we should do better than just trying to sustain or sustainability. I think right. we're trying to improve <laughs> yes, uh, and grow and and prosper. And that's the at, interesting. At what point is regression actually the improvement, though? Well, if regression, we get back to common freedoms of the Constitution, a lot of this stuff goes away, and that that creates the improvement by going back to our roots. Well. I won't get an argument in terms of uh, federal grants, in terms of taking us taking us back to our roots. I mean, we have a constitution, and I've been told that it's available to anyone around the world, and some people have joked about the fact that we can easily provide it since we don't need to, we don't use it anymore. <laughs> and we got spare Ooh. copies, oh, yeah. yeah. So, let's, 1992 seems to be a key date in Agenda 21, why? Well, the, there was a, a, a conferences, uh, I believe, down in South America. Rio? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and at Rio, and uh, at that point, Don, they basically came up with a template, and they've gone to a point now where it's Rio plus 20, okay. and the whole effort has been built to try and get governments to buy in to the whole, quote, sustainability movement, and we're doing that here locally, but the local side of it's been very interesting because in 2010 when this first came up in front of the county commission mm -hmm. the county commission rejected it on a three to two vote and we had uh, a lot of discussion because the city of Wichita jumped in and said well wait a minute if the county doesn't want to do it we'll jump in and do it the fed said no if you don't want to bite from this apple you gotta go back to the end of the line mm -hmm. and when the issue came up again in 2011 we'd had two new commissioners added and two of the commissioners who'd voted against it in 2010 were replaced by Commissioners Skelton and Ranzall. Mm -hmm. And uh, Commissioner Ranzall, who's the most educated advocate on this subject, he's done a tremendous amount of work on it, uh, voted against it as I did, and I had voted against it in 2010, but, but uh, Commissioner Skelton joined the other two commissioners mm -hmm. and uh, we voted three to two to take it, and that started the planning process grant. Now, what makes this interesting, Don, is we're gonna be looking at the implementation grant, whether cool. we go forward with it, sometime in about the next, uh, I think sometime next year. 2015 is the date that I saw, yeah. Yep, and so we've got uh, that going forward in terms of whether we will take the next step, but this is going on all over the United States. It's not just here in South Central Kansas. This is going on in all over the United States, and local units are making those decisions, Don. Is that why I can't fix my property? Well, you can fix your property. In fact, we'll, we at the county level like you to do that, because especially if you take out a building permit, we'll come out and reappraise you, too. Uh, some folks... Um, we could use an increase in the whole assessed valuation in Central County. City of Wichita doesn't think so. <laughs> uh, well, I can't speak for the city. I'm a county. You're a county guy, right? Not, well, not a city guy. I can't replace So this is actually, reports. we've adopted, and the Central County Commission has adopted this sustainability. Well, thing. what we did was we are the 
local entity that kind of is the contact point for the federal agencies for this grant, Don. Mm -hmm. And so we're in the situation where uh, REAP, which is a group of counties and cities in South Central Kansas, uh, have taken it on. Was that They've REAP? renamed it REAP. REAP. Okay. Uh, the Regional Economic Area Partnership, I believe, okay. is the acronym. I'm about 98% sure I think it's a grim sure reaper that. for some reason. <laughs> but but REAP, REAP has, a, uh, I think there are about 18 or 20 governmental bodies, cities, mm -hmm. most mostly cities, there's some counties, and uh, they basically uh, are in the process of overseeing the, th this whole grant process during the planning stage. Well, what we've, well, go ahead. What does that mean to like, to like me, just your average person, you know, like, what does Agenda 21 mean to me? Like, how many aspects of that is it going to affect, or are going to affect my life? What should I be worried about? Well, in terms of for the average citizen at the moment, fortunately, not much. But when you get to the implementation phase, this planning part is they're trying to get input, which if they've used a very flawed methodology, mm -hmm. I, I like to call it the literary digest approach. But uh, I'll leave that longer story aside. Mm -hmm. But the Agenda 21 has the potential in terms of saying, look, we we think people are using too much energy, for instance, and so uh, we need to have folks ride bicycles and take the subway to work. And if you live in a part of the country where you have temperature extremes and there's no subway, um, well, you know, well, we've got to get you into the people buses. People are secondary to nature, and you need to be cattle instead of freedom. Well, oh. the... <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm here in South We're chair. spoiled sorts here, are we Americans? Uh, I don't know that you're going to get us talked into taking a bike. Well, what do you mean? We, we we've we've, we've got the check. government has banned incandescent light bulbs. Yeah. And they've changed our toilets. I know, I'm going yeah. blind from that, literally. I, it, it affected my vision. Those and, and the irony is, is supposedly for the environment, we came up with these fluorescent light bulbs that are They're full of mercury. Worst. They're yeah. full of mercury. <laughs> yeah, which is <laughs> you, you, highly toxic. The, 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 the cleaning process for cleaning up a that, broken that fluorescent me on bulb. My lead paint suit. Yeah, have yeah. you ever seen the yeah, cleaning process crazy. for that? It's like... Break out the hazmat suit. Exactly, so hazmat suit. Call has WFD out. and stand back. Yeah. Well, so, I, I, I hate to say it, I'm from that older generation that they, they gave us in you know, my junior high school uh, biology class and we went out to catch butterflies, they give us mason jars filled with carbon tetrachloride, oh, which of course uh, but if it falls into that same category like mercury, and of course we were in chemistry class, everybody shined up their dimes with mercury, uh, yeah. and we had bottles of the stuff, they just said don't inhale, it oh, yeah. and and don't, yeah. don't, don't inhale the fumes, yeah. so, uh, so, <laughs> so we're, 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 in terms of your question, which is a serious mean. question, deserves, right. uh, we, we, you can get onto the flipping side of this a little bit, but some of it is so ridiculous, you've got to make fun of it, because otherwise yeah. you cry over where we're going. But is it but, serious? But, it, but it, the idea is, is that people... You know, we're using up too much of the Earth's resources. So the idea is, is we need to live closer together, more compact. Uh, I think it, I, a few years ago, a little over a decade ago, I was in Siberia. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the type of living that those folks have to endure, and I'm not talking about the weather, I'm talking about, you know, the, the typical flat, as they'd call yeah. it, or apartment. I mean, you are talking conditions. like five meters by five meters. Yeah. So, I mean, we'd call it maybe an efficiency, <coughs> but... But uh, but I, I talked to a university professor over there, and she told me that uh, uh, she, she had they not only she had her own toilet in, in her flat, and she had her own kitchen too. Wow! So it, it was really that upscale. was exciting for her. Well, compared to <laughs> some of the others that were My out goodness. there. But uh, communal living, the way the uh, the eating used to be laid out, it had common restrooms, and yeah. uh, there's there's areas in in apartment buildings overseas where there's common restrooms, there's common kitchens. Um, I, I seen that movie. It's called Hostel. Yeah, yeah. we we call it. We we have Hostel. similar buildings here in the United States, which are called prisons. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so right now, to bring us into the next subject, I mean, right now we're then at the uh, nudge stage, right? We're just being nudged to go a certain direction and getting. Well, it's it's an ongoing process because you've got an international aspect from it being pushed yeah. out of the United Nations. But we've also got the push coming out of Washington, and that's direct and when they're providing the money. You know, you're going to dance to the tune of the person who pays the piper and, and the federal funds coming in. The real key would be in the implementation side and, and what comes out of it. And we're in this planning process where they're talking about getting public input on a variety of issues. And that's an area where this collective decision-making approach struggles. 
Why is federal money so important that we need to sell our freedom for it? Well, it's one of the reasons I voted no. I, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> yeah. What should I be worried about the next step that's coming? What? What? Well, I, I urge you to get in touch with your local officials. If you happen to live in West Wichita, the western part of Sedgwick County, I'm your county commissioner. But I'd also, if you're in Wichita, contact your council members because Wichita is part yeah. of the part of REAP. But if you're also in suburban yeah. Sedgwick County. Uh, most of the smaller communities here in Sedgwick County also have REAP memberships, too. How do I get Wichita to let me fix my building? Uh, well, there's a city council like election <laughs> next April. There I is, yeah. There's a meeting tomorrow. There's a, they had a tremendous meeting this Finally morning at 9 o'clock, as a matter of fact, mm. at city council. The place was packed. A lot of, a lot of well, talk be, about there'll about be a that. big city council meeting on and, and next Tuesday too, just Minot, like it was today. Well, yes, uh, every Tuesday. the lead paint issue I see yeah. is falling squarely into this whole discussion because <laughs> yeah. the, any any building prior to seventy eight was painted with lead paint, so now they want lead paint specialists. They want it encapsulated. They wanted all this all this boogeyman over lead lead paint yeah. because toddlers were chewing on paint because they had a vitamin or mineral deficiency and they're out there eating dirt to this day for the same reasons but there's nobody that can dirt. make a buck competing with I dirt. I think we are. So now we've banned lead paint even though our founders played with lead toys and ate their food shot with lead shot. Uh, lead's this big boogeyman now. It's all yeah. bad things lead even though it doesn't really hurt anybody. Uh, it's it's an insanity that goes to this control issue that Agenda 21 is all about. We're gonna we're so gonna, but it always lines somebody's pocket. That's the amazing part. There's somebody that got rich selling paint that's an alternative to lead-based paint. So, well, so you mentioned some other issues in Central County we should be paying attention to. Besides this, what are they? Well, within the next uh, a week from a week from Wednesday, uh, we're going to be voting on our 2015 budget and that's a big deal we've got about yeah. a 400 a little over 400 million dollar budget we've got uh, over 2600 full-time county employees and it covers everything from we have our own fire district which boundaries a little bit different from Sedgwick County it mm -hmm. doesn't cover Wichita but it covers a lot of the suburban areas and rural areas we've got EMS emergency communications 911 uh, we've got all the record keeping. I mean, you talk about owning property. Uh, you buy a house, a register of deeds, we keep track of that in the clerk's office and obviously the appraiser. So we're in a situation where um, this is also true for the cities and for the school districts. And so it's important for anyone watching this out here, you know, contact your elected officials. Let them know what you think in terms of what you're happy and what you're not happy about. I mean, yeah. I, I tell people my door is always open and, and my I keep a regular old-fashioned landline listing. Maybe this makes is me a 20th century troglodyte so that if people want to get a hold of Commissioner Peter John, you know, that Peter John's right there in the phone book. How do you, how do you find out who you're your city officials are? That's a good question. Um, 660-7104 is the phone number for the election commissioner's office. And that's a county function too. And the election commissioner's office can tell you. You just basically call in and give them your name and address and they can tell you who your elected officials are. We're going to have to wrap it up right there. Pay some bills. We'll be back shortly with our next segment. Thank you for watching us here at Real People, Real Life. Absolutely. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Knapp Weaponry is the home of Wichita's newest indoor temperature-controlled shooting range. Mention this ad for two-for-one pricing weekdays from noon to four. Knapp Weaponry is an NRA Business Alliance member that offers NRA and state-certified instruction classes, training, and women's unarmed self-defense classes. We buy and sell new and used guns and offer gunsmith services. Knapp Weaponry offers a free-range session with the purchase of a new gun. We also offer transfer services and an array of ammo. Knapp Weaponry, the West Side's best-kept secret. At Trailer Town, we're all about selection, service, and safety. Trailer Town selection, hundreds to choose from, small to large, lightweight aluminum to heavy-duty steel, all types, new and used. Trailer Town service, the best in the Midwest, from wiring to axle repair. Trailer Town safety, yes, we do Department of Transportation inspections. Trailer Town, trusted, family-owned, 301 West 53rd Street North.
saving you money big time and saying thank you, Kansas, for making Credit King Auto Sales the number one buy here, pay here dealer. Number one for sales, service selection, and customer satisfaction. Right now, our summer blowout sale is going on with, get this, two years of free gas only at Credit King Auto Sales at the King's Corner, 31st South and Broadway. GoCreditKing.com. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and lowest prices store-wide, wants to remind you of very important savings days. Wine Day, Tuesdays get 20% off. Beer Day, Wednesdays get 10% off. Microbrews and Imports, open till 8 p.m. every Sunday. Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. 